Hi everyone, it's Jessica and this video is going to be my weekly plan with me and my main planner which is my Erin Condren and for this week I am really excited to be using a kit from Hello Petite Paper. I haven't used one of her kits before and this is actually something that I got in one of her Misfit grab bags but luckily I got I think pretty much the full kit. I have everything I need to plan at least but you've got the full boxes, the bottom washi and washi strips, a few pieces of deco, the headers, little things, some half boxes and then this functional sheet with some of these scallop labels icons and all these other like little things so I am excited to be using this and her glossy paper is actually really really nice So I think I'm going to go ahead and do the full boxes first and I think I am going to go ahead and move it down just a little bit and I like to do this to give myself just a little bit more room in the today section. I also don't really like, ooh, I think there's ink actually coming off of these stickers. I, yeah, there's like ink coming off. That's not really good. Um, I know this is like a mishap though, so maybe that is part of the problem, but okay, we'll have to cover that up, otherwise my planner is going to look kind of dirty for this week, but anyway. So as I was saying, I like to move them down a little bit because I, that way I have a little bit more room in the today section and I also don't really like to put headers right on top of these boxes because usually you wind up putting something like the odds and ends or little things headers right on top of the box and for my style of planning that just didn't really make sense because I don't ever actually put anything in the boxes since I didn't want to cover up any of the pretty graphics. Yeah, there's definitely ink like coming off of these stickers. So I'm just gonna take like a tissue paper and kind of try to wipe most of that off just so it doesn't wind up smearing all over my planner. I didn't realize that. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you guys can definitely see that on camera, but that like black smudge is kind of all the ink and you're seeing like some of the black on here too. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that because I think that's really going to bother me. This might sound stupid, but I have an eraser and it looks like actually the eraser is working a little bit to erase some of that. I'm curious if anyone else has run into this problem with Hello Petite paper. I know these are misfits, so I don't know if maybe that has something to do with it. But I would be really curious if you run into this issue too with just her regular kits. But FYI, if you do run into this problem with like anyone else's kits, the eraser actually works quite well at getting rid of that ink smudges. Anyway, back on track here. I'm going to finish up the full boxes. So because I shift the boxes down a little bit, the bottom washi usually does not fit and sometimes I'll trim the bottom washi down, but because the pattern is the same as some of the patterns in the full box, I think I'm actually going to opt for a washi instead. So this one is the Simply Gilded Bow Washi. It's her navy one, which has actually been discontinued. And then this one I think might go a little bit better, but this is from Hobby Lobby. So I think I'm going to go for this one instead because I think the leaves kind of go with the theme of this week. So that is done and I don't know if you can see but that washi is foiled which is really really pretty and I'm just going to go through and put down the rest of the basics now so just the headers and the little scale of checklists. Just realized I wind up having the same issue with these headers where and I think it's mostly this dark blue that has the issue but the ink kind of comes off a little bit so that you can see is just with one swipe. So I am actually just going to try to rub at this before I even put it down. Okay, 
So I have to say I am struggling a little bit with these checklists. I think this sheet just wasn't cut super well. And again, these are mishaps, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, it's still kind of frustrating to work with. But, you know, when you buy mishaps or oops bags, you kind of expect to run into little things like this. So that's that. I'm just kind of like running my X-Acto blade through it just to help me get these stickers up a little bit cleaner. But I have a feeling this whole sheet isn't cut super well, so... I think my camera stopped filming at some point, but all I did was put down that weekend banner. I did go through and I kind of cut out the weekend banner with my X-Acto knife. Same with these little flags, and I'm going to use these for my work schedule. And for this week, I actually work every day except for Friday. So it's definitely going to be a busy work week because the week before, um, I'm actually, I actually picked up a few shifts for the weekend before. So I think I'm working like nine days in a row. So not going to lie, that is definitely going to be hard but it'll be worth it in the end anyway um just a few thoughts about this so i have never struggled so much with any of the other mishaps or you know kind of the misfit bags that i buy from other shops and i do buy quite a lot like i enjoy buying them they're cheaper you get to try out different shops and see kind of some of their types of stickers and it's a little grab bag so it's winds up being a little bit of a surprise too which is always fun but most of them like I typically don't run into problems with like the ink coming up or the cut lines not being super well cut which again these are misfits so I accept that I'm not holding it against the shop but this was definitely a struggle because there were just multiple issues with these sheets so I'm gonna have to see I did buy quite a few other sheets from her and I'm gonna have to see if I wind up running into the same problems with those sheets as well. So for this week I picked out this sheet of a Clever Gal craft stickers to mark my work schedule. This is the Millie sheet which is probably my favorite color scheme that she offers and I did want to do more rose gold foiling just to match the bottom washi. So I think I am going to use, let's see, I kind of want to use this like lighter green color so I think I'm going to do that. That is it for work. Definitely going to be a busy week for me and I don't have any bills due this week so I think the other thing that I wanted to mark down and I think I'm going to use some of these little flags just because they're really pretty but I'm going to mark down my video schedule as well and I have four videos going up and I might just use let's see the four without the florals at the end just because I'm going to wind up putting a little heart sticker down and I don't want to cover those up. So I will be right back because I think I have to cut these out as well. So I'm a dummy and I forgot to press the record button, but all I did was I put down those flags on the days that I have videos scheduled to go up. And most of the time I actually will usually just put the little, um, these are hearts from Sessa V by the way, this is her rose gold foil sheet. I'll actually just put it in my to-do list, but because I'm going to be so busy with work this week, I don't think I'm going to need a lot of space in the today section because I don't think I'm going to have time to really do much else. So I don't mind putting them in the today section for a change. So that is it for that and I think that is all I'm going to put down for the week. I like to kind of plan as I go in the today section so once I decide what I'm doing for the day I'll actually put stickers down for it but yeah I think that is it for the day or for the week and I am going to work on the sidebar next. So I do want to use up the last little half box here. And I'm just going to use that in the uh, to cover up that little flag here. And 
And I do want to use up some of the deco in the thankful thoughts section. And then the other thing I want to do is use some of these little flags to mark off or to cover up the page flags on the side. And I did go through and already cut out the orange ones since they were matching. And in the sidebars, I have started kind of tracking my studying with a little checklist in the weekly section. So I think one of these caress press ones would work out really nicely. Let me see which one. I'm kind of leaning towards this lighter blue one. And again, that was left over from one of my Crest Press kits. And I think there is a little bit of space for a half box, which I kind of want to fill up just because it looks a little bit weird just to have that tiny space left. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that up with a half box. And I might just write down some weekly reminders for myself or something like that. So let's see which box I'm going to want to use. Actually, I'm going to move this glasses icon down here to symbolize a studying. Because so I think that'll look really cute. So that is it for this week. Here is a look at the spread. This is all I do for pre-planning. And I will show you what I have left. Let's see. I have most of this sheet left. Most of the little things in half boxes. I still have a ton of headers left. I've got all the washi. Um, I used up all the full boxes. And I do have a few more functional stickers lying around as well. So I will pull these in likely throughout the week. as. Overall thoughts, I do think it is a really cute kit, but because of how much I struggled with these sheets, I don't know that I would repurchase any of her Misfit bags. I just would prefer to not have to struggle so much with a weekly spread. So that is it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!